Hi, welcome back to Ventura County Spotlight. I'm Rob, your host, and we're in front of the Taj Mahal, the Taj Mahal in Ojai. But what's more iconic is the person inside that we're gonna to talk to in a second, Carmen Abayeda. She is one of the most iconic artists in Ojai. We're gonna take a look to find out what her inspiration is, and what makes her tick. So let's go inside and take a look. So when you kind of have this envision of something in your head that you want mm -hmm. to create, do you have a story in mind already? Or do you kind of create it? Does it kind of take shape as you go along? It really does take shape as I go along because sometimes I'll just start doodling and a new character will arise and then it's almost like it's a friend and they will speak to me <laughs> just like my name is so and so and I come from here and I do these things so. I don't know, maybe it comes from self-entertaining as an only child, you know, an imagination of mm -hmm. creating stories. Hmm. Now, I'm not very creative myself. I would not be able to do any of this. <laughs> For somebody who maybe don't, they don't think they're creative, how would they get started in just coming up with ideas? Um, well, for me, it's with the piece itself, like, and I think that a lot of people that come to visit me and don't necessarily do art themselves, um, something about seeing the work on everyday objects that are often discarded makes them more um, free mm -hmm. to pick that old piece of wood up and do something on it. For some reason, it's more freeing than like, oh my gosh, I better not mess up on this like $50 store-bought canvas. Right. So there's a certain like freedom. I was just gonna say, there's a freedom with it because you mm -hmm. know, you know, there is no such thing as messing up. It's just, okay, it takes a different route. And it's only paint and there's more paint and you can paint over it if you don't like it. Right, <laughs> that's very true. Now you're Cuban, yes. so how does your, the Cuban culture, how does that kind of play into your artwork? Um, I would say it's key growing up there my first 10 years of life and due to the hardships of living in a poor third world country, I was just surrounded by people who repurpose things for everyday functional uses and also artistic. I, mean, I would say my grandfather was probably my biggest influence because um, I never saw a toy store in my life and all the things I had to play with were things that he would make for me and I would watch him make them and just be amazed at wow he just created a functioning dollhouse with lights and furniture mm. and he didn't go to a store and buy anything. Right. Now, Carmen, how could somebody buy one of your iconic artwork pieces? Um, best way to track me down and um, see what my work looks like is on my Instagram page. And that's just my name, Carmen Avelleda. And um, you could take a look at everything there. Um, and if someone would like to come here to have mm -hmm. a studio visit, I have a lot of work available and they can come meet me and see the studio. Cool, now, last question I have for you. So, can, where can somebody view your artwork or, you know, see, get inspiration from? Where can they see your stuff at? The best place to see my work is on my Instagram page and it's just my name, Carmen Abayeda. Abayeda, I remember, it's a very unique last name. It means beekeeper. Really? Beekeeper. In Portuguese, even mm -hmm. though I'm Cuban, the last right. name is, Cool. from Portugal. So guys, check out our Instagram and if you have anything that you actually kind of, could somebody donate any items if they want to? Yeah, and oftentimes people will donate things for me to do with as I please or they'll bring me something that they want to commission me to paint for them. So I'm oh. open to all of those. <laughs> so you guys reach out to her if you have anything you want to donate as well. I have a special challenge for all you viewers. If you have anything that you've so-called carmenized, I want you to post on Instagram and do the hashtag carmenize. So that way, Carmen here can take a look to see 
what inspirations she's having in the community up here in Ojai and Ventura County in total. I love it. Good. Thank you. So thanks for taking the time to speak with me today, Carmen. I really look forward to seeing more of your artwork and hopefully get a lot of inspiration from the viewers out here. Awesome. Thank cool. you so much. Thanks. And I'm Rob from Realty One Group Summit, and you're watching Ventura County Spotlight. Stay tuned for the next episode. You're not going to want to miss it.